Good morning. This is Don D with Truth Be Told, broadcasting under beautiful sunny skies here in Arizona. Looks like we're going to be uh, early 80s again. I'll take this weather every day in the summertime, that's for sure. Without ado, let's go ahead and move to the, a couple stories here we want to share. Uh, first one is... Israeli rescue team joins a desperate search for survivors in Florida building collapse. Some of, uh, of the American's first responders on scene trained two years ago in Israel. In one of the first international affairs uh, efforts from the newly installed government in Jerusalem, search and rescue specialists from Israel are working alongside their American counterparts, many of whom they trained hoping to find people alive in the rubble from the collapsed Florida building. A portion of the 12-story 130-unit champ uh, Champagne, uh, Champlain Towers South Condo crumpled in the early hours of June 24th in Surfside, leaving 11 known dead, 11 injured, and 150 missing as of Monday night. The aftermath left a massive gash alongside one side of the 40-year-old building and emergency responders race, racing the clock in search for anyone buried beneath, buried alive beneath piles of concrete. The rescue teams included a delegation from Israel where home front command engineers from the Israel uh, Defense Force have developed expertise in finding survivors amid catastrophes. We learned it the hard way from necessity. One IDF officer told Just the News, we put the knowledge to use to help save lives. The 10-member delegation arrived on Sunday in Florida along with Israel's new uh, Dysphoria Affairs Minister, Nachman Shai. I was instructed by the Prime Minister to check what the needs are and tell you what we are here and ready, Shai told Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. There are no limits to what we are ready to offer. We brought our best people. Thank you, Israel. You're our brothers. Team members hold out hope that people will be found alive in the rubble, according to the group's leaders, Colonel Golan Bach. There is a chance, Bach told Israeli television. While searching for people after the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, the team found a man alive after 100 hours, Bach said. We still have hope, but this site is very complicated, and I hope that we find someone. You and me both. American teams on the ground and search side include searchers who trained in Israel, according to Israeli paramedic Uriel Goldberg. Two years ago, we held a conference in Israel where we trained them on this kind of disaster such as buildings that are destroyed in earthquakes, Goldberg said in an interview with Israeli television. Some of the first responders here were actually at the conference and used the skills which they learned in Israel to save lives in the first minutes and hours before our teams arrived. In years past, Israel has sent rescue teams to help in the aftermath of disasters around the world. These include 1985 and 2017 earthquakes in Mexico City. In 1994, a Hezbollah terror attack in Buenos Aires and a 2012 collapsed department store in Accra, Ghana. The effort in Surfside is particularly poignant for Israel because the community has a large Jewish population. We are very connected to the Jews, but we didn't come because of the Jews, Fox said. We came because people are here, lost their families, lost their relatives, lost their loved ones. Fox and his team met on Monday with family members and explained methods and challenges in the search. Among the challenges are shifting debris and keeping the building stable. The team also offered encouragement, telling families that the team is highly experienced and will put its expertise to good use. You're in good hands, Bach told family members on Monday, I can assure you. This is just horrible, horrible, tragic, tragic uh, mess. At uh, any rate, moving on to the next door. According to the pundit, a oh, uh, second FBI agents in two months arrested, uh, you see that word, and you see that word, children. Another FBI agent is arrested for uh, R&M, small children. The 51-year-old Davis Harris is an active duty FBI agent in the New Orleans field office. Shame on you. Hope they get throw the book at this guy. Let's go ahead and... Uh, play this video here. 
New tonight, state police arrested an FBI agent assigned in New Orleans on numerous sexual misconduct charges. State police received a complaint on 51-year-old David Harris back in February involving multiple victims across several jurisdictions across the state. Harris was arrested in Ascension Parish and booked with multiple charges, including indecent behavior with children. When he's released, he'll be booked in New Orleans for sexual battery and attempted third-degree rape. He also faces charges in East Baton Rouge. New tonight. These guys make me sick. Uh, we're really starting to find out what kind of people we have uh, in, in a lot of these uh, important positions. Those, that's, that's just the, the worst kind of disgrace that some, a public official would be involved in something like this. It says a Louisiana FBI agent has been arrested by the Louisiana State Police Bureau of Investigation Special Units Unit and the United States Department of Justice Office of Inspector General for sexual misconduct against juveniles, according to a press release from LSP. David Harris, Harris, age 51 of Prairieville, Louisiana, was booked on numerous sexual misconduct charges. At the time of the investigation, Harris was or assigned to the FBI New Orleans field office. Earlier today, Harris was arrested in Ascension Parish and booked on charges of aggravated crimes against nature and indecent behavior with children under the age of 13. Man, man, what next? What next, guys? All right, and the last one is Biden admin to close dozens of migrant facilities, including one accused of warehousing children. The Biden administration is expected to close dozens of emergency intake sites used to uh, house unaccompanied migrant minors including one accused of warehousing children, CNN reported on Monday, the Communist News Network. Several children shared testimonials about poor conditions while housed in their emergency intake facilities on June 21st, according to court documents. Their experiences have drawn criticism from immigration attorneys and advocates, the Communist News Network reported. A 17-year-old Guatemalan girl said she and 300 girls slept in a big white tent on cots stacked on top of one another while she was detained in Fort Bliss near El Paso, Texas. According to her testimony, Fort Bliss can house up to 10,000 migrants and was compared to warehousing children by attorneys who visited the facility, CNN reported. The Department of Health and Human Services is considering how and when to close the, the Fort Bliss along with other emergency intake sites. Secretary Xavier Becerra told reporters Monday, CNN reported, officials are hesitant to make a move since it's unknown how many more unaccompanied migrant minors could arrive at the southern border in the coming months since a record number of arrivals caught the administration off guard earlier this year, according to CNN. Yeah, uh-huh. Let's make excuses for him. Uh, the Prez and VP have directed Xavier Becerra to ensure that HHS facilities that shelter unaccompanied children comply with the highest standards under federal law. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said Monday CNN reported. The Biden admin constructed several emergency intake sites to move a rec record number of unaccompanied migrant miners arriving at the southern border out of the crowded border patrol faci facilities, CNN reported. Border officials encountered a record high of nearly 19,000 migrant children in March and just over 17,000 in April, before a decline in 14,100 in May, according to Customs and Border Protection. The SARA visited the region as part of a series of tours of HHS facilities shortly after, I'm not saying that in front of her name, Kamala Harris, Camel Toe Harris, trip to El Paso, Texas on Friday, according to CNN. But Sarah declined to say whether the visit to Fort Bliss was in response to criticism or the migrant children's testimonials. This visit today was to see the continued progress that we made, but Sarah said, CNN reported. In terms of any reports or allegations of lack of care or abuse, we handle those immediately. Whenever we get the reports, we handle each one as they come. Nearly 800 migrant boys are currently held at Fort Bliss, down from the recorded high of 4,000, according to CNN. Over 14,200 unaccompanied migrant minors were in HHS custody 
custody as of Sunday according to the agency. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, it's down because they're shipping them all over the U.S. That's just what we need. is a bunch of more people to take care of that can't come into the country legally. At any rate, uh, this is Don V with Truth Be Told. I hope you enjoyed these, and we are out of here.